I'd like to go through and give you some information about a very, very engaging website for math and science called CK12 Brain Genie. Within this site, students can practice interactive activities and you will be able to track their practice and monitor their success. Okay, let me go ahead and sign in. It's quite simple. You will create an account with all the pertinent information and sign into it as I am. So once signed in, it will take you to your first landing page. So if you notice here, I've already created uh, different uh, goals for my class. So once you sign in, you can just create a class and start with a new class, okay? So when you've signed in and you've had no classes, you just go through create a new class and you will click on this. I go through it and enter your class name. So I'm just going to say math. Just that simple, create your class, and within this, you can add the students. Now, the way I would use it is that instead of you typing first and last name, giving them a username, have the students go ahead and sign in for an account. The only information they will need to provide is their name, their email address, and their birth date. Once they've given that within the website, they, you will, they will log in and they will be asked to join a class. That's your class. And once they're asked to join a class, type in this code right here. The code will directly link you to the class that you have for them. Now let's look at a sample class that I have here. This class has been going for a time, so there are uh, there's some work here. It shows you the progress here. The green means this is how far they've gone in this assignment. This assignment was a quite lengthy assignment, so the students did not, uh, as a whole, complete it as a class. But you can make your assignments as short or as long as you would like. So once I click on this, um, this link here to go to the assignments, you see here this is what I had given them to do. Okay, so you can stroll over all the way to the left and see it was quite lengthy and at the top you can see the math objectives that was included within that. And if you were to look at or uh, click on one of the green boxes, it shows you exactly the type of questions and within here it tells you the topics of the questions that was it what that was submitted. So where you see the green, it shows that these students have completed that particular uh, assignment or that and passed that objective. From here, say you may want to type on this particular student's uh, lesson or name, and here it tells you exactly how many smart points were earned, how many problems that were correct. How many skills conquered? Video seconds, if they watched the video. How many practice, sex, practice seconds they had? And if they had a multiplayer award. Here it tells the date and time and what they had worked on at that time. So I'm going to go back to my home page. In addition to this feature, you can go to reports. This site will generate a report for your students and within this report you can see that you can set the dates. So if you want to go all the way back, I think I signed this back in say December here, all the way up to present, you can see the graph, exactly the dates and the time spent here and the skills conquered. If you want to see who worked on what, if you clicked on each name and you can determine who, um, who spent the time. So it's very interactive and you can keep track of what is going on within uh, the students that you have. So as a recap, you can look at different lessons 
Okay, if you wanted to add a lesson, if you had to add features, you can add it from the um, home part. If you go get started, you can take a tour here. Okay, these are the three classes that I have already set up. And there's a learning zone. So if you look at the learning zone, it tells you the different courses that you can select from, starting at 1 through 8 math, all the way up to physics. Within any of these courses, you're able to set up and make the assignments for your class to complete, and you can monitor them at, to their completion. So I uh, hope this helps you. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, and I will have other videos that will help you in the classroom.